Good morning, everybody. I want to have uh, a quick family video to go over some things, some really important things that we're working on right now. So happy February to everyone. And I hear the birds chirping. Spring is right around the corner. First off, um, just want to talk about the year and some goals we've got going. And one thing that we've come up with, and I don't know if you were at the, the holiday party or not, but is our theme for 2022. And it really focuses around the customer experience and getting the customer what they deserve and want. And that is the theme for 2022 is find a way. And as I talked about at the holiday party, it's simply find a way, find an alternative. If we hit in, Probably one, a, a great example is one of the H.B. Uh, McGrath Sky's the Limit Award winners was a gentleman by the name of Rick Miller. Many of you know him. And his story was a guy that just typifies find a way. 10 years ago, he didn't make BBB, the biggest, baddest, best club, 10 years ago. And I said something to him and said, boy, I was really surprised. I'm really surprised you weren't there. You're one of our top people. And he said, I'll never miss a year again. He hasn't missed a month. Uh, now, 121 straight months, he's made BBB. Vacations, time off, illness, whatever. He finds a way. And that's the whole thing. When we have a customer drive in the drive, has a situation, we find a way. We find a solution to take care of them and take care of them right now and make them very happy. And one thing that we talked about yesterday in Emerging Leaders is there, someone asked me, what happens when you have somebody that's really upset? The key there is that we make a tragic moment a magic moment. That's when we really shine and that's when it really tells us how good we are, is when we take a situation that is concerning and we turn it into a Wow. And I just challenge you to find a way in what we can do in our business, in our daily, daily activities to raise the customer's awareness. Some other things that I really wanted to talk about was um, like when you really reflect on last year, uh, a couple pictures really come to mind. And I mentioned this at the holiday party. You know, if you picture a rowboat, a competitive rowboat, and those people are in there and they're ready to race and there's six or seven of them or whatever. Um, interestingly, in that scenario, if you were to compare it to business, um, you know, they, they don't have their eye on the goal. They don't see it. They know there's no obstacles in the water because it's all been cleared. There's no waves. Sometimes there's very little wind. A lot of times there's very little wind because they can predict when they're gonna start and they can change it and be flexible. All they know is that I just need to do this to the cadence of everyone as hard and as fast as I can. Well, then you look at another picture and compare it to our business and it's a whitewater raft and there's six or seven or eight people in it and they've got helmets on They've got life vests on. They can see where they're going, but a lot of times they don't see the obstacles. Why? Because they're in such rough water and they're getting tossed around so much that they generally can hit one before they ever see it. But I tell you, when the whitewater raft goes through, you look on those people's faces and they are smiling, their energy, when they're told paddle right, paddle right, you paddle right or left and they're into it and they just wanna fight through the rapids and have a great time. When we get to the end, they high five and you look at the rowers and they're very stoic. And I tell you the way business has been this last 24 months, we have been on a raft ride. And I just gotta tell you that it's been a crazy ride, but I, I think we've learned a bunch and we've come through and had some fun during it, had some craziness, but we've adjusted and we found a way to be on top of it to be on the leading edge. Let me share some other stuff with you on 2022 though. Uh, admin, the administration team of motorcycles and auto is all being uh, brought together and being a cooperative situation. And even motorcycles and automotive, we're really working to do a lot of things together. 
One is great one is Roadmaster. Roadmaster's now handling all of uh, motorcycles, uh, all their uh, advertising, digitally and traditional. So we're really trying to bring the motorcycle family and the car family together and you know, have a really cool transportation company. Um, and really working hard on that. Really want to look at having a, a turn in the F&I office after purchase for a customer to be customer to be 40 minutes or less. We'd really like to see the customer spend 40 minutes or less in that office and just all you salespeople and everybody know we're really working hard on that. I know Tammy is really diligent about trying to, and it's gonna take baby steps, but we'll get there. Um, enhanced employee onboarding and orientation experience. Jamie's done a really, really nice job with that, but even wants to be better. So we're working on enhancing that experience so when we do bring people on board, they really feel a part of the family right away and understand what we're all about and feel welcome. Also, uh, another thing that Jamie and, and uh, hats off to Jamie, a big shout out for this, and Tracy is the new paid time off program, the new PTO program. Uh, that is awesome. What The feedback has been wonderful and just the additional paid time off everybody is earning right now is really, really great. You all deserve that. Um, and I apologize, it probably took us a little longer than to put that out there. But uh, another thing we wanna do is we wanna look at Google rating. We wanna be at 4.5 or above. So when you pull up one of our stores, we wanna be at 4.5 or above. And uh, so that again ties into find a way to make the customer happy so they'll go on there and give us a great review. Because those reviews are really, really important. I know when I shop for things, I look at that. Many people do, and we wanna be considered, and we are really, we need to show the, the community that we are, we're, we're tops in the customer experience end of it. Um, one, oh, this is a big one. Um, Oren Smith is retiring. Uh, I Maybe some of you know this, but effective November 1st of this year, Oren will be retiring. And uh, I started working with Oren in 1982 to give you a background on Oren. And he was with us a long time and then he uh, left and he ended up becoming a car dealer in Grundy Center. And once he sold, one, when he sold that, came back to work with us. And of course he's been vice president of sales and tops in our leadership team and just been an amazing employee. Uh, and we hate to see him go, but he really, really deserves this. He's been in this gig for over 40 years. And uh, so we will be sending an email out, you may have already received it actually, about what that transition looks like with Orin because we're already putting in a team of people that will transition um, into his roles, if you will, because we're gonna have a couple different people take over his roles and enhance a couple other areas. So that's that will come and when you see Orin, uh, give him a pat on the back and tell him, and of course, he doesn't know it, but we're gonna probably throw him a hell of a retirement party. Uh, the big thing will be is trying to get him there for it because he hates this that stuff, but anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, one of the goals on our Vision Traction Organizer, you know, we do the 10-year plan, the three-year plan, the one-year plan. Uh, as part of that, we shared with many of you was we were to wanna have a store added by the end of 2021. That obviously didn't, didn't happen. Um, mainly because of the fact it takes a seller. Uh, we're out there, we're still looking what will happen with that, I, I, I don't know. It takes a seller, but we are assertively looking to, we do want to expand and to add another store within the next 24 months for sure. But uh, that's gonna be something that kind of out of our control, but I believe me, I'm working on that hard to see if we can't make that happen. Um, I know we'll all work to find a way to make these happen. Uh, 40 minutes and 4.5 Google review, us getting something bought, hopefully in the near future. Uh, enhanced employee turnover, or uh, excuse me, onboarding. Um, you know, we all live by our core values, which is very, very strong. And we have three uniques that we really build on and we're changing one of them. So our new three uniques are this family owned, which we're very, very proud of. 
very proud of anymore, especially in this industry where it seems like a lot of conglomerators are buying up stuff. Community involvement, truly believe that not only for automotive, but for many other businesses, we get uh, applauded often by the community on how much we do for the community, which is really, really neat. And we really believe in that. We really get behind that um, and really strongly support our community. Not only this one, but the ones we serve, Dubuque, Coralville, Davenport, and all of the above. So, and then, so the new one, the new third one is we find a way. That is truly one of our niches that we find a way. And we do that to really make a difference with our customers to exceed their expectations. And of course, doing the right thing is finding a way. Um, and we are also gonna, that's right, we're gonna um, add to the over the top award, one person per store will be re recognized each month for finding a way. And we want to hear a story where somebody went over and above and beyond to find a way for a customer to make them happy and make them really appreciate what we do for them. So that's uh, a lot that I went through, but we again will be, uh, you probably maybe have already seen the email about Orange Transition, that'll be talked about, and we'll keep you up to date on how we're, at, how we're doing on the rest of these goals as far as the, the Google ratings and all those things. Anything you can do to help, we would really, really appreciate it. Most importantly, thank you for everything that you do and uh, have a wonderful February and uh, spring is coming right around the corner and, and I know everybody is excited for that. And thanks again and, and uh, hopefully your favorite Super Bowl team wins in a couple weeks. Thank you.